So, because of lockdown and officially not being able to get a haircut, I can now do space spots! Oh my god, isn't this so cute? <laughs> Boy, and welcome to my world and I know this seems a bit off because I've not done a haul in literally she when was the last time I did a haul? I haven't done a haul since my birthday and now look at us we're doing another haul today and this is like a humongous haul because uh student budget so we're spreading out between the whole of autumn so enjoy <laughs> believe me this is a big haul and it's so big that my bag right now is all covered in the clothes Ta-da! We've also got some other stuff like a freaking weighted blanket next to me, some shoes, makeup. Believe me, this is going to be a treat, so sit down, enjoy. This might be also long, so you might want a cup of tea or a biscuit. If you do enjoy calls and you want to see more, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. What was that? And without further ado, let us begin. I'm actually going to start with clothes. So I'm going to do kind of like store by store, and there's not really a lot. <laughs> like, I have to admit, I have been pretty basic when it comes to clothing and literally shopped at ASOS or Zara. We love being basic sometimes. Asus. Ah. <laughs> the first one actually is I got recently, which is a tote bag that says, Self love is the best love. This was like six pounds, and I think it's adorable. I mean, obviously, self love is the best love. Hashtag, it's so true. And my brain wants to tie dye this. I don't know, I can picture it tie dyed like maybe either being blue. I've actually got blue and purple left, so I might do that with the ice method. I'm gonna show you, some, I think, some two tie dye pieces that I've done. And again, this is so cute, isn't it? Like, ooh. I'm just gonna grab my coffee because that's the only thing we can do lockdown is get a takeaway coffee car. I know, I thought this was really nice and I, I just, I really like it. Next thing is actually a pair of trousers. Now, you've definitely seen these on my Instagram because I did a whole reel based on them, which are these pairs of trousers which I've actually also broken because the button is fallen off. But can I still wear them? Of course. So these are like a navy blue pair of trousers with a very, very, very thin bias along the side so it gives it that pajama -y effect. And honestly, the fit of these so nice because they're like loose and comfortable and to be honest like I don't really wear dark trousers I've kind of converted into like the light trouser king when I do wear these I'm like they just feel so comfortable and nice the only thing is they are a size bigger I have this super annoying thing somehow for a waist 30 um my legs are big <laughs> so I have to get a size 32 it's huge around my waist so I have to always wear about but again these are so cute I've definitely been wearing these I've worn them on Instagram a couple of times I think I actually wore them to like like the woods. I had like a whole mini moment in them with like, like my Machino overshirt. I still can't believe I have a fucking Machino shirt. Then I got a very basic basic which is literally just a muscle slash tight fit top and it fits so well. It makes me feel like a little bit of a sex god. We love being like a sex god. Ooh. And also this is going to be very helpful because I have another piece. It's like a trend piece that I instantly pictured this with and I actually think I bought this for that piece. Again we love a good old basic. Here's our first highlight piece which is this one. This is from Collision at ASOS and again this is a small I think it's a unisex this is my tie-dye version I did it with ice I honestly love doing it with ice tie-dye and ice but this one is so nice. It's got a little bit of a higher neckline. It's kind of like loose and it fits so well. Again, this tie-dyeing is so cool. I remember when I initially did the tie-dye, I was like, oh, why does it look like denim? And I was initially like, oh, I'm not gonna wear that. And then I keep on wearing it and being like a trendy ass bitch in it. So love this. And then because I kind of realized, Steph, we're in lockdown. It's great that you want to wear clothes still and you want to feel like a cute ass bitch. Sometimes it's okay to chill. So I wanted to buy myself a matching set of like loungewear and I think I'm gonna buy myself another from Goose and Gander. I love Goose and Gander, which they're also in this haul. So I ended up getting this really, really, really cute one. Ugh, again, it's so soft. And it's almost like this jogger styled pair of trousers with elastic at the end, so it ends up cuffing. And honestly, they're so cold. And then the top is slouchy and big, but it's just <laughs> like wearing a teddy bear. I don't even know what this fabric is, but it's so soft. It just makes you feel like at home, and that's what I want. I want to basically feel like when I'm at home and chilling, I can actually chill. So I love this. And then the last two pieces I also got literally, I think of them yesterday, because that's what ASOS was doing 25% off for students. So I was like, let me take advantage. So I actually got this plain white cardigan. Now, you know I love a cardigan. I've been loving cardigans before they were trendy. I was that bitch. And this one is really nice. I love like the knitted like detailing. Like for example, if you look here, how it's got the like, different diagonals. And also I just love the color white. I just think it goes with everything and the buttons are all cute. I got this in a medium and it fits like so nicely because the sleeves are a little bit longer, but not too much. So like you can pull them up. It's so cute and the fit is all nice. And oh, I 
love this one. And this one you've, oh, you've definitely seen. Is this clown cardigan? I am an Instagram influencer now. <laughs> this is so cute. By the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, Starboy 1.0. I love this. I just do. I love the print. I love the buttons. I love the rim, the bias, how it's got this almost like varsity styled effect. I love the fit because it's like cozy and oversized. I love that it fits my arms perfectly. I just love every single detail of this cardigan. It's such a dream and you guys seem to like it too, which also reminds me ASOS. If you're ever watching this, which I don't even know how, but if you do, hey, love you guys, please restock this. There's so many people in America who probably still want this and here. Restock this in much more size inclusive range. Please. The vibes. The vibes. I'm just so excited to continue wearing it. Like, I cannot wait mm, till it gets even colder and I can... <gasps> even with these overalls. I love it. Next place! Zara. Now, you know it wouldn't be a step haul with some sort of Zara. Although, I will have to say, it just hasn't been hitting it for me and I've just not been loving it. So, if you guys actually have any recommendations for other clothing shops, please tell me down below. First piece I got. Yes, I'm a basic bitch. Let's just admit it. But I got myself a sweater vest. I actually love these. And this looks huge, but sadly this was the smallest size. Because sometimes Zara, it does this stupid thing where they literally do medium, large, and extra large. I don't know why. That's some other evidence that Zara sizing is messed up. It's so comfy and it's so nice and it's so like oversized. And I really like it. Again, that's why I bought the white top. And I was trying to like play along with the styling. And honestly, like, I'm so excited to continue wearing this. I actually wore it to a lecture and someone complimented me. So thank you this with a pair of like check trousers which I've actually done like a t-shirt underneath so you get a little bit of the sleeve popping out because this is a cap sleeve and then with like a necklace and then maybe with like a headband in your hair and like a backpack the vibes are there. We love. We do stand this one. Then, which also could be styled, is actually this knitted jumper top thing. It's got a lettuce hem, which did you know that was actually founded by a black designer? Fun fact of the day. I love this. I love this detail here. And again, it's got like this lettuce hem, which when you wear it, it expands. I honestly do love it. And I actually teamed it with another piece, which I then posted on Instagram again. And you guys really liked it because I felt like I should have been like, call me by your name. It's so nice. And it's a really good layering piece. And I can actually pick Picture with the sweater vest also. Now, this was the piece that I actually wore with it, which is this shirt over shirt. Well, and Zara on the actual site, it's advertised as a shirt, but the kind of fabric it is, because it's more like this like woven kind of effect fabric. I would not class this as a shirt. I would have said this is an overshirt. And honestly, as an overshirt, it's so cute. And as a shirt, it's so cute. I love, you've got the hint of the cobalt blue across like the entire thing, across the pattern, and you've got the buttons. Although this was so expensive. For this, it was like 50 pounds. And I just sat there, I was like, why? And I still brought it! And honestly, I don't really regret buying it. I love it. It's so cute. And also, I don't really have anything in this print. Then, going from basic to not basic. <laughs> this is like the shirt that screams, Hello! I'm here! Yes, bitches! I have no words apart from art. And the colors, the orange and the pastel blue. And the peach. Mm. This though, I do have to find more ways to style. Again, it's like we're in winter and to style this is a bit harder, but um, I'll figure it out a way. And then when we're allowed to go back out again and when I can finally find a man to go on a date with, this is what I'm wearing. A red shirt with cherry blossoms on it in like uh, this bowler style. I'm done. I'm deceased. I'm ready to find my man. Come on. This is so cute. The vibes, yes. She cute. She cute or whatever. Also, I actually realized I don't have a lot of red in my wardrobe and I feel betrayed by myself. Now we're going on to others. So these are like places that like are mixed. So I've maybe either tied idea or I got it from another place or I just really wanted to show it because Here's the pile of others. First piece is this tie top, which is again, this is the ice method. I'm telling you guys, look how amazing this is. I love this to death. The amount of different hues you've got with ice. With one color and ice, I was like mind blown. And of course, I'm going to now use ice for every single piece of tie that I'm doing. Could not recommend it enough. Second piece is actually from Goose and Gander and I love this company so much. And it's basically this like lilac colored sweatshirt. I love a sweatshirt. If you know me, I adore a sweatshirt. And this has got fleece inside. And look at the embroidery. Can we just take a moment to appreciate? Isn't it so cute? It's so 2000s. It's the bubble writing. And, and it fits so well. Like I actually, I got it in a medium. And the sleeves like fit me perfectly. And it's just, 
The fit is like the perfect amount of oversize and I just love it. I honestly just love this to death. And finally, I'm pretty sure I brought this during the summer, but still, um, I want to show it anyway because I still can't believe I actually brought this, which is a freaking Glossier hoodie. Yes, I'm that bitch. Oh my God, I actually think this is like the nicest hoodie I've ever got. Oh my God, it's like so thick and the fleece is so nice. And this is like the coziest thing. It's the perfect shade of pink and I have basically fallen in love with it and you cannot stop me. And this is like definitely a piece that I know was more expensive, but like a hundred percent is worth the cash, and I really cannot wait to continue wearing this during nights of just wanting to be cozy and watching Disney Plus hashtag Frozen 2. The next one we're gonna do is shoes, which I already have two pairs of shoes, and one of them is wearing right now, which is a pair of slippers. They are dogs and they are fluffy, and I cannot argue with these, they are adorable. My god, and they're just so cute, and they're so comfortable, like it's memory foam on the bottom, and my feet are like toasty and warm, and I'm just like, yes, like da da. And then, for actual pair of shoes, I actually got myself a pair of Nike blazers. These are so cute. I've not actually worn them out yet, that's why they look so pristine, but basically I got them for sale for like 40% off. I'm a genius, but I love these because you've got like the two different shades of pink. You've got the suede and then you've got like the leather and then you've got the little Nike at the back and it's pink and I love pink and I'm not gonna argue with pink because pink is my superior color. Okay, let's not discuss, let's not fight. You know what it's about. Okay, so I feel like because we're still kind of doing fashion, I'm just gonna do some random bits of, like accessories. For jewelry, which is weird, I never do jewelry. I actually got a necklace from Andover Stories because I said fuck gender roles and look how pretty this is. It's got a freaking moon on it and it's so precious and adorable and I love the whole moon and stars aesthetic if you know me it's one of my favorites and this fits like a little bit like a choker and I remember wanting like a choker I love that it's so like delicate and pretty and just adorable I love it so much so I would totally recommend getting one of these I actually have another headband over there but it's kind of broken so I don't really want to show that instead we're bringing back the pudsy ears I would put them on now but I've already got space buns in and I'm not ruining that look but my mom got pudsy ears basically for I think me and my sister and honestly I kind of miss wearing them again like I remember wearing them I was like these feel kind of cute I'm not gonna deny and they're just they're just so great and they're so soft and they're pudsy ears like can we argue 2016 me knew what the fuck was up with ears okay I knew what was happening and then we get to call some masks because hashtag protection hashtag safety and hashtag why not I actually got these all from Etsy and if I can remember the small businesses I'll put them down below honestly get them from Etsy they're cheaper they're really fucking good quality supporting a small business and they're so cute so 100% get them this is the first one which is uh, linen and it's currently a bit scrunchled the thing that I like about this is that actually the color like this color is so pretty and I like that like it's elastic so you can fit it across your head and that it's opens I really like that however again if you know me I'm autistic I get by sensory overload with a mask this is by far the one that makes me feel the worst sensory overload it's linen so linen is a very like thin fabric but it gets so wet and I can feel like the humidity of my breath breathing in and out and oh my god it just makes me feel even worse especially if I'm on the trains like I can feel anxious on the trains just in general when especially with COVID and this just makes me feel 10 times worse these however these fabric ones freaking adore to death firstly because they're so comfortable secondly you cannot tell me this is not adorable oh my god I just love them and especially this color this one's my favorite these make me feel way less anxious because I'm not feeling my breath breathing into the thingy and making me feel like I'm stuck in a sauna and I can never escape they're just so comfortable and they're cute and it's so fun especially when you're like mm, what do I sense like wearing. Let me match it to my mask. And you basically feel like you're that kind of bitch and I love that attitude. Honestly, I do. Also, my university gave me a mask as well. I still can't believe they gave us a free mask and that one is so good because it's got like elastic at the top and the bottom. So you can stretch it to your face size and it's so comfortable. It is black, but like I'll take it. It's because it's a neutral so it'll go over a lot of things. Yeah. Next part of the haul is gonna be the makeup because bitch, you already know I love makeup and I really, really do. So, first thing Nikki Tutorials X Beauty Bay Palette. Again, I love this bitch. I actually really love this bitch. This is probably one of my favorite palettes I have ever got. Firstly, you are not telling me this color story ain't making you go like, whoa, bitch. The pigmentation is stunning. The way they blend into each other, iconic. The shimmers, the freaking shimmers. I'm still not meant to over those. And also, like, it's Nikki Tutorials, so you already know it's gonna be good because it's her. She's one of my faves, so um, I love this palette. Next, my friend. And 
Lauren knew I was kind of stressed um, with um, uni and stuff like that because I, I get stressed easily. So what she did to kind of like treat me was that she got me these like topper thingies from like Barry M. She knew what she was doing. The two ones that I'm like, I'm obsessed with are these two little gems. They're holographic eyeshadow toppers. Can you see the colors? Like these are stunning. Stunning. They're tiny but yet powerful. They're so pretty, especially when you have like a shadow underneath and you put it on top. They're so beautiful. I've got the shade Luna and Stardust. I now want the full range, 100%. These are worth it. These tiny little powerful things, so good. So thank you, Lauren. And then finally, this is just makes me so happy. So I'm trying to basically support more black businesses because why fucking not? I'm definitely gonna try to involve in clothing, especially like there's a candle I want and a t-shirt I want from it. Etsy, which are both from black businesses and I kind of want them so badly so but basically it's this brand called Goodmella and I ordered like I think during the summer like or during either the end of the summer or the beginning or something and I don't know I just wanted to shout them out for this I ordered like a blush bronzer and when I came in the blush was broken and I, I just I was like hey like I love the product uh, it's so good but the problem is it's broken and I just wanted to know if there's anything you can do about it she literally came to my house the founder the one who's created the brand Mella if you're watching this, love you, God. She came and hand gifted me not only a new blush, but also a freaking lip gloss. You are not telling me that is a genius marketing because it allows customers to engage in a more personal connection with the actual owner. But B, that's what we call dedication. And C, that's so sweet and so amazing. Like, that is legend's behavior only. I actually adore her so much. And honestly, I'm so excited to see where this brand goes. So definitely go and check out Goodmella and the bronzer. This bronzer is probably one of my favorites because it's a red tone bronzer, which so suits my skin. Like, oh my God, it makes me look so tan. And it's so good because it's like blendable, but yet pigmented. So like, oh my God, I just feel like a bronze goddess. I also love the lip gloss. This orange hue is stunning. And honestly, I'm so excited. I'm like tempted to buy the, try the sponge out. I'm just so excited. So definitely go and check out Goodmella. But also like, if you guys have any other small black businesses, even if it's yours, like comment down below. Tell me some small business. The rest of it is gonna be random and let's just roll with it. You're probably wondering, Steph, there is a cushion missing. Well, that's because I've also brought cushion for my room. It's a freaking rainbow! Sorry, the gay in me just knew that he needed a little bit of pride during his <laughs> So this is from H&M and I think it's actually a kid's cushion, but honestly, I love it to death. I'm so excited to continue to do in my room. I think there's a couple of things. I might as well show you them, but honestly, love this to death. I've actually got a print here, which is think from by studios, honestly, like uh, I've seen what's her name, Gabby, like okay, Velvet Ghost, talk about them, this brand, and I love them. And I think I've seen my other favorite British YouTuber, Emma's Rectangle, work with them, and honestly, I love them. I needed a print for here, and I wanted it to be pretty big. So, um, she's so cute. It says, When in doubt, dance it out. Which, if this is not such a step quote, I don't know what else is. The orange and the pink is perfect for my room, and I want to bring in more elements of like pink throughout my room. And honestly, I'm so excited. I've actually did order a frame, which is a rose gold one, and it's gonna go just here next to my neon light. So I am so excited for that to come. I'm so excited for my room to feel extra cute. Like, the next wall we're gonna be tackling is this wall. I have a couple ideas, honestly. And then, honestly, I swear by this product. This product, honestly, has changed my life for the best. And I don't know why I didn't buy one sooner. And that is a weighted blanket. Okay, this is heavy. Ah! It's just so soft and so nice. Like honestly, this is from either Keeping Calm or Keep Calm Blanket. When I was trying to investigate buy one, because they're expensive. I'm not even going to they are pricey. This was the only one that mentioned autism and that kind of pissed me off because nowhere else mentioned autism and I was just like, do I not exist? I think I've got this in like seven kilograms. It's so nice. And honestly, when I do feel anxious or sad, whatever, putting this on just makes me feel so much more soothed and comfortable. And honestly, now I just feel like I'm gonna melt the spot and just be like, whoa. I honestly just love this so much. And also, it's in this like beautiful champagne-y color. How are we not gonna love this color? The first thing I got was some brush pens. I love bullet journaling. I love doing it for fun and I love collaging. So I have this array of brush pens. They're so pretty. Love me some freaking brush pens. And also the woman complimented me on my skinny dip mask. So I was like, thank you. Next, I got a pack of three sketchbooks, which in the color black, 
this gray color and then a white kind of vibe. And then my university is legendary because basically what they've done is they've given us a hundred pounds each to spend on this like site on whatever we want. So I've got like two sketchbooks, nothing really exciting, but honestly love it. We have a lot of units coming up, so I want to make sure I have stuff for that. And then because in Casa you can also buy a tote bag. Oh my god, it kind of matches my top. And then, if you did not know, I also have disability student allowance, which I can't believe I still have. And basically, the way it works is that you run through if you need any help or support in certain things. So I basically have a, a microphone. I have this baby. It's like from Samsung. This little mic is powerful. I've actually been using it for something else that I'm pretty excited when I'm able to actually do it. But I've been doing something and I'm really, really excited about it. That's my haul and now my room is a gigantic mess. I really hope you did enjoy this haul. Honestly, I do really enjoy enjoy doing hauls and I miss them so if you want to see the like every season make sure you kind of comment down below your thoughts please like subscribe share you know what's doing I shall see you guys very very soon cheese adios goodbye people goodbye <laughs>